Myself, I am Vaishnava. I am studying in 9th class in Brilliant Model School. Now, I am going to explain one important topic. It is animal tissue. First, we want to know what is tissue. Tissue is a group of cells that are similar in structure and work together to do a specialized function. It is called tissue. In animal tissue, they are classified into four types. They are epithelial tissue, connective tissue, muscular tissue, nervous tissue. Now, let us know about epithelial tissue. Covering and protecting tissue inside or outside of animal body is known as epithelial tissue. Epithelial tissue divided into three types. Squamous epithelial tissue, cuboidal epithelial tissue, columnar epithelial First one, squamous epithelial tissue. It means multiple layer of squamous epithelial tissue. It is made up of thin, fat, delicate, compactly packed and irregularly shaped squamous epithelial tissue present in lining of mouth, anus, etc. Now let us know about cuboidal epithelial tissue. It provides more protection and me mechanical strength and also helps in protection, diffusion, segregation. Cuboidal Epithelial can be 2 to 3 layers thick. It means it is stratificate cuboidal epithelial tissue. It is helping segregation. It is present in duck of glands like salivary and thyroid, etc. Now let us know about columnar epithelial tissue. It contains column-like cells and the main function is absorption and secretion. Columnar epithelial tissue is present in lining of stomach and intestine. This is the information about epithelial. Now let us know about Connective tissue, second type of animal tissue. Connective tissue, a closely paced tissue mainly carrying different materials to different parts of the body as well as standing support is called connective. Connective tissue divided into seven types. They are areolar tissue, adipose tissue, ligament, bone, cartilage, tendon and blade. First one is areolar tissue. Areolar tissue joins different tissues help in packing and helps to keep organs in place. These cells also help in repair of tissue when they are injured. Second one adipose tissue. Adipose tissue will store the fat at the below of skin and between internal organ storage of fat also acts as insulator. Third one is ligament. Ligament contains bones at the joints and holds them in position. It is made up of fibers. This fibers made up of protein called collagen. This is very elastic in nature. Fourth one is bone. Bone forms the frames work that support in the body. It is major component of skeleton system of several vertebrates. Fifth one is cartilage. Cartilage forms in joints of bones, type of ribs, type of nose, exterior ex ears, etc. MRS of several vertebrates do not have bone but have cartilage. Cartilage is hard but not as hard as bone. Sixth one is tendon. Tendon made up of fibers. The tendon joins the muscles to the bone. It is also made up of collagen. Now let us know about blade. It is seventh type of connective tissue. Blade. It means stretched in the close in closed canal in our body is called blade. Blade have blood cells. Blood cells are three types. They are RBC, WBC, platelets. RBC means red blood cells. WBC means white blood cells. The lifespan of RBC is 120 days. RBC cells also known as erythrocytes. The second one is WBC. WBC cells also known as leukocytes. These cells are not having color. Example, cockroach, snail, etc. WBC divided into two types, granulocytes and granulocytes. Granulocytes are divided into three types, neutrophils, basophils, eosinophils. Again, granulocytes are divided into two types, lymphosis, monosis. Third one is platelets. It means Blood capsules which helps in blood clotting at the site of injury. It is known as blood platelets. This is the information about connective tissue. Now let us know about muscular tissue. The tissue which is responsible for movements in our body is known as muscular tissue. Muscular tissue divided into three types. They are stated muscles, non-stated muscles, cardiac muscles. First one, stated muscles. Stated muscles are voluntary in nature. These muscles are mostly attached to bones and help in movements. They are alternate light and dark bands. These cells are long, cylindrical, unbranched and having many nucleus. They are present in inner limbs, hands, eyelids, etc. 
second one is non state muscles this muscles involuntary in nature this muscles are mostly present in alimentary canals uterus etc they are called smooth muscles they are present in the uterus of eyes in uterus etc third one is cardiac muscles cardiac muscles are involuntary in nature the cells are long branched and having nucleus these muscles are present in heart this is the information about muscular tissue now let us know about nervous tissue nervous tissue a specialized tissue that responds in internal external stimuli is called as nervous tissue nervous tissue is made up of neurons etc neurons is made up of cytokine dendrites and axon cytokine has a nucleus and cytoplasm dendrites so the hair the like projection from the cytokine axon is elongated portion of neuron myelin sheet insulate and protects the axon this is the information about nervous tissue and this is the total information about animal tissue thank you If you need like this important matters, please subscribe my channel, like and share it. Thank you everybody.